Hello friends, welcome back to Knowledge Institute. I am Pratap Bosle. Welcome to you to today's lecture on lysosomes. In today's video, we are going to study how the lysosomes are formed and how they function inside the cell. I am also going to show you how you could draw a perfectly sensible diagram so that you could fetch more marks. So let's start. So let's start with the plasma membrane first. So this is the plasma membrane, right? The first of all, we should start with the formation of lysosome. So this is, I will draw smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulums here. This is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and this is the smooth one. So after this, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum release a primary vesicle, a vesicle with the enzymes, which ultimately goes to the gold gap adders. And after the processing of those enzymes, the Golgi apparatus releases the lysosomes along with those digestive enzymes in it. Right? Yes, so this is how the lysosomes are formed inside the cell. Okay. So, this is the first step how the lysosomes are formed. After that, we are going to see how the lysosomes functions inside the cell. So before that, let's give the names one by one because it's very important. This is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And this is the primary vesicle with enzyme. Okay. Yes. This is obviously the Golgi apparatus. Right. And all these are what? Lysosomes. Which containing the digesting or the acidic enzymes in it. Okay. Now let's start how the functions of these lysosomes are. The first pathway or the three pathways mainly are the phagocytosis, endocytosis and autophagy. So we will start with the autophagy. Uh, we'll start with the phagocytosis. So the, how the phagocytosis occurs is phagocytosis is basically occurs with the foreign particles like the microorganism or the bacteria, right? They are engulfed within the plasma membrane indent. So once they are engulfed, it forms the phagosome in it. So this is what? Phagosome. This is what is the phagosome. Then this phagosome then combines with the primary lysosome. These are lysosomes and also called as a primary lysosome. So after this, the lysosomes will give the formation of the secondary lysosome. This is what? Secondary lysosome. Okay. Let's name this as the primary one. the primary lysosome. So this is the first pathway, right? The phagocytosis. So you can name this as the first pathway. 
like the phagocytosis. Okay. Okay. Yes. Next. This occurs with the bacteria on the foreign harmful microorganisms or the foreign particles. So now the next pathway is the endocytosis, right? Okay. In the endocytosis, the difference is that whatever the soluble macromolecules inside the cell, they are get ingested or they are get indented inside the plasma membrane. So these are what soluble macromolecules. Okay. And once they, they are these phagosomes get phagocytized, all these are get digested in the, the secondary lysosome because secondary lysosomes forms after the combined with all of these phagosomes, endosomes, autosomes and primary lysosomes. Okay, so the secondary lysosome will have a mixture of all of the contents of all the other uh, dash zones inside the cell, right? So let's come back to our endocytosis. So first, uh, after the this soluble macromolecules gets ingested, it forms the endosome first, the primary endosome after it, the secondary endosome after it, right? So one by one. And all of them will initially have what? The soluble macromolecules inside it, right? So this is the primary endosome. And this one will be the secondary, okay? So then the secondary endosome then combines with what? The primary lysosomes and again it from the uh, secondary lysosomes, right? The fate will be the same after they, uh, anyone combines with the primate lysosomes. Okay, so let's name this. Uh, this is as what? Secondary endosome. Okay. Then the, this is the second pathway, right? You can name this as endocytosis, right? Now, let's come back to our third pathway. So the third pathway is the autophagy. It occurs with the mitochondria and other cell organisms which are not useful or the fate of them is ultimately the lysis. So the lysosomes, sorry, the mitochondria inside the cell, they have uh, directly uh, get autophagous by the primary lysosomes. Okay. So after they come into contact with the primary lysosomes, they uh, get ingested or the autosomes autophagous by the primary lysosomes only, right? So once the autophagosome is formed, this is what? Autophagosome, right? So this is the autophagosome and once this autophagosome is formed, it ultimately then converted into the secondary lysosome. All right. So this is our third pathway, right? So this is the third pathway and it is called as autophagy, All right? So the first the lysosomes got formed here. After that, the phagocytosis occur, 
it combines with the primary lysosome, then it forms the secondary lysosome. Then the second pathway in the cytosis of the soluble macromolecules occur, then it forms the secondary micro secondary lysosomes along with the primary lysosome. The same is the case with the autophagy also. Now the once this secondary lysosome form, the ultimate state would be the exocytosis of the contents. Right. So this contains inside the secondary lysosome will be what? what? Will be exocytosed out of the cell. Right. So all of them will be thrown back. And if there are some useful, they will be used or other will be excreted. So this will be the last fate. And you could name it as the exocytosis. Right. This is also the last part and the important part. Okay. So I hope you all of you have understood how the lysosomes are formed and how they are functions. Okay. So let's meet in the next lecture. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.